How's it going everybody? This is Golden Bolt and welcome back for more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode we arrived here in Pastoria City after spending some time at the beach and in this episode we're going to be heading to the Great Marsh which is just through here and uh, yeah never mind that like terrorist sounding guy over there talking about crap with explosives. Team Galactic I just can't understand sometimes man. Anyway welcome to uh, the Great Marsh which is a lot like the Safari game uh, from uh, past generations. And uh, one cool thing about the Great Marsh is actually if you come up here and go up the stairs um, essentially all these guys basically just talk about, oh, the Pokemon change every day, and they really do, but, um, if you pay a hundred, hundred freaking dollars for the most expensive thing ever, I know not really a hundred dollars, you can see what Pokemon are found in certain types of areas. Tangela's, you can see, Yanma, got a Wooper, and a Scroopy. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can do that, uh, to see all of the areas as well if you're, uh, interested. Uh, these will change, also they will, uh... Uh, some Pokemon that you will eventually uh, be able to find in here may not show up until you have the uh, National Pokedex. And uh, every time you go into uh, the the Great Marsh every day, it's going to look different and everything. Now, um, I don't plan on uh, catching everything in here because I'm not super interested in getting every single thing you can possibly find. Um, they're basically just your typical what you'd expect, uh, the types of Pokemon you could uh, expect to find in a swamp, really. This girl, actually, is going to give us our main, I don't know, uh, sub-quest, I guess, for this place. Howdy, you're playing the Safari game? How would you like to try my game out at the same time? The rule, yep, there's only one, is real simple. All you have to do is capture five or more Pokemon in one Safari game. If you can do that, I'll give you the Poketch app matchup checker. Now, uh, the Great Martian Diamond and Pearl has actually used the act way you could actually get uh, Defog, but in this game, as you know, we already have it because things are done in a different order. Well, that was a lot of explaining you had to do there, Golden Blatt. Thanks, Card Gage. I've got some bad news for you guys, though. What is it? Yeah, what's it gonna be? Well, we actually have to come in here without you guys. Welcome to the Great Marsh, the home of Pastoria Safari Game. All you, all you can catch for just $500. 500 Poke. Would you like to play the Safari Game? That'll be 500, please. Here are your Safari Balls. We'll let you know when your game is over. Until then, enjoy yourself, please. Off you go on your wild excursion. Yep, see you guys later. No! All right, well, this is weird. We're actually without our team there. Ah, uh, just kidding. There they are. They're just not going to be able to be used in, uh, uh, actual battles or anything like that. Hello, sir. Quick, 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 out in the sticks to the fro- to, to and fro some. Uh, yeah, we can use these quick trams here, which, actually, why don't we go ahead and use a quick tram just to show it off. Um, let's just head to Area 1. So we're gonna try and catch five Pokemon in one, uh, five different Pokemon in one Safari game. We'll give it a shot. Give ourselves a chance at getting that, uh, that Poketch app. But yeah, this place is pretty cool, actually. Um, and you can cross uh, your section over here, and Great Marsh Area Two is actually over here. Let's yeah, let's start up in Area Two. Hello, lady. Pokemon you see here are different from day to day, don't you think so? Yeah. Welcome to the marsh. Sometimes you get stuck, in which case you just kind of need to wiggle yourself around and then uh, choose your direction. Uh, yeah. Why are you not battling with us? Hold on, Card Gage. I got a little thing to explain. This is a Wooper here, as we know, but we are not going to be sending out any Pokemon. No, we have the option to use Ball. Bait, run, or mud. Now, a ball, as we'll see here, will typically you'll just throw a safari ball and actually be pretty lucky if we catch him. Be kind of nice. Um, mud will lower the chance of the Pokemon running away and. Oh! Wow, nice! Alright, well, that's one down. Mud will lower the chance of the Pokemon running away, but it will make the Pokemon harder to catch. And bait will do the, uh, the exact opposite of that, making the Pokemon easier to catch, but increasing the chance that it'll run away. So, I don't know. Pokemon do run away a lot, so I always recommend using Mud because it's not that bad. And, uh, no. We won't give a nickname to our captured Wooper. Though, uh, we are stuck in the mud here. Um, I did believe- I do believe he entered our party. Yeah, he did. What are you doing here? I'm the only Water-type Pokemon on our team. What are you thinking? Oh, come on. Don't be that mean, GB. Come on. Don't be that mean. You don't have to be that bad. Um... But yeah, this place is pretty freaking cool, actually. It's one of the Pokemon down. There are also uh, items scattered around uh, the place. Pretty cool. And uh, if you you do get stuck in the mud a lot, which is... All you gotta do is wiggle, 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 wiggle yourself out the mud. And we don't want a Wooper. We don't want another Wooper. I already have a Wooper. I'm gonna make it my goal to catch five different ones. Yeah. And you can kind of see the difference uh, between... Uh, the different types of uh, mud you can walk in, being like the darker mud, the lighter, the less thick mud, and the grass. And uh, you tend to get stuck by switching your uh, your terrain option there. It does make kind of a funny sound when you're walking through. And we found a Pokeball. 
Um, in my opinion, I don't like the Great Marsh as much as I like the Safari Zone in previous games, but again, that's just me. Um, hey, look at Quagsire. It's such a goofy looking Pokemon. So we're actually going to throw mud at it so it doesn't run away. And it's not like Quagsire cares. See, I don't understand how that makes sense. I don't know. You'd think if he, he would stick around if you gave him food, not chuck mud at him. But I guess, you know, making Pokemon tend to get provoked easier, and yeah, now he's going to be increasingly difficult to, uh, to catch, as you can see here. But, um, I figured it was worth covering the Great Marsh in this one. Uh, it's not the most important thing. Alright, screw you. Screw you. Forget it. There's, um, a whole sorts, a whole, like, massive amounts of items you can find in here, including, uh, Leafstone, I believe, in one area, and maybe we'll run into something like a Yanma or something. Oh, wow, a Tropius! Very cool! I used to think Tropius was, like, one of the coolest Pokemon back in, uh, the Hoenn, the Hoenn times. Uh, when I first played in one, and then two, and a three, and do we get Tropius? Ah, oh, don't do that to me, Tropius! Yeah, how dare you do that? We're trying to capture you if it wasn't obvious by now. Yeah, listen to what Don Lino said, Tropius. Get in my ball! Ugh, forget I said that. Um... Tropius is watching carefully. I hope we can catch him. Maybe we'll just go on a catching spree and just catch five of any type. Because those uh, whoopers are... Ah! Those whoopers are easier. He's not running away. I don't know if it's worth chucking bait at him. Maybe he won't run this time. But, uh, I'd like to have a Tropius. That would actually be pretty cool. I like Tropius. Tropius is eating, and he fled immediately. So I had no chance at all. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, check the Marsh's binoculars. I already did that. That's how you win. <laughs> Do you win at the... Do you really win at the Safari game? Is that really what it is, sir? What area are we in? Oh. Um, you know what, let's take this tram down to area three. Um, because I know that there... I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of leaf stone there. Um... And I think I think that's one of the items most most worth getting. Area three, somewhere in the middle of the mud. I'm not sure where. Uh, I I appear to have I I appear to have gotten myself stuck in the mud. Would anybody help me out? Would anybody be willing to help me out? Oh, it seems we haven't found a Pokemon. Maybe this Pokemon will help me help us out. Hi there, Limbo Barrel. Hi, Barrel. Uh, good to meet you, I guess. Ooh, you're trying to put me in a Pokeball, are you? Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be okay with that. Apparently, I am! And we got- gotcha, the barrel was caught. That's two. <laughs> we have not made a lot of progress now, have we? Oh, silly the barrel. It's a beaver Pokemon! It is the evolved form of Whoops. Nah, I was going to name him Super Whoops, but that's okay. I don't want to take the time to name him. I wanted- I do want to find that Leaf Stone, though. I'm stuck in the mud! Somewhere around here. I hate being stuck in the mud. I don't... It might not even be in this area. I'm pretty sure it's Area 3, though. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, oh, well. I'm pretty sure that there... Nonetheless, I'm pretty sure that there is a Leaf Stone in this area. So if you, uh, if you look close enough, you'll be able to find it. Or I could use the dowsing machine. Or not, because I'm stuck in the mud. God dang it, I'm very stuck in the mud! Oh, gosh, maybe we'll find something else. Oh, a Tangela! Cool! Let's see if we can catch ourselves a Tangela. Let's hope, let's hope this works. Tangela used to be uh, one of the Pokemon I liked the least back in Red and Blue, just because I just, I don't know. I don't mind it so much now and- Oh! Why is every Pokemon doing that to us? Don't run, Tangela. Get in the Pokeball. Don't be a Tropius. Get in the ball. Don't be a Tropius. Don't be a Tropius! GET IN THE BALL! For God's sake, Tangela, I just wanna- I just want that Poke app. that's all I want. Come on, now. <coughs> Excuse me. And it fled. Wow. I didn't even do anything. Come on, let me just get, keep getting stuck in the mud and I'm standing on top of the grass that time. Anything new? Ah, oh, it's a Wooper. Wooper seems to be pretty easy to catch. Let's go. Come on, Wooper. Come on, Wooper. Let's go, Wooper. Come on, Wooper. Let's go, Wooper. Come on, Wooper. Let's go, Wooper. Wow. 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 So I believe the uh, escape um, chance for this um, is based on the 0 through 255 number generator. And got ourselves a second Wooper. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so what? Uh, how that works is like... 
based on what you choose, like throwing mud or throwing bait or anything, um, your poke the turn will go, like there'll be a random zero through 255. Come on, I wish I wasn't constantly going up. I, I keep like going, pressing, mashing up and down too quick to get out of the mud. And we're just gonna catch a whole mess of whoopers is what we're going to do. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm very, very okay with this. Uh, um, so honestly, the Great Marsh itself, not as important. Just not as important. It's eh, it's just a thing to show off, I guess. Oh well. If you if you're into finding these sorts of Pokemon that you can find in here, then then by all means go ahead and have fun in the Great Marsh. Come on, let me out. Let me out of the mud, you. S let me out of the mud. I don't want to be in the mud anymore. Oh look, a Tangela. I wonder if it's gonna actually catch this time. Hmm. Now, um, that area back toward, I believe, did we actually go there? I know there are areas where, um, there's just, like, normal water. You can actually fish in there and pull out, uh, depending on your rod. There is a chance, I believe, you can actually even get a Gyarados. Oh, come on, I'm right there! Let me out of the- LET ME OUT OF THE MUD! I just want to traverse the rest of the area! Oh, look, another Bibarel. Another freaking Bibarel. I wonder if he'll- I wonder if he'll take my Safari Ball. TASTE MY SAFARI BALLS! Gross. And he's not going to do that. Well, I'll tell you guys what, I'm gonna, I think, no, I think I'm going to uh, cut over to at least uh, show you guys the fishing area and see if we can pull something out of the water. You know, just to show off maybe some of that to you. See you guys in a sec. Alrighty, here we, here we are fishing. See if we can get something out of the water. Not even a nibble. Of course not even a nibble. Why would it, why would there be a nibble? Why would I, why would I luck out like that? But, um, yeah. Landed a Pokemon! We did find a Pokemon fishing! Cool! And it is a Barboach, not a Whiskash. That's what it evolves into. Let's see if we can catch it. Shall we? But you try and catch some more Whoopers, but, you know. Yeah, Barboach would be cool too. Yeah, do we get a Barboach? Yeah! Awesome! Got ourselves a Barboach. Very, very cool. Um, I should also point out that um, the this area um, works in uh, if you're playing with uh, a fire red game, I believe, in the dual slot. Um, you will be able to get Arbok. Could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure it's Arbok. Could be Ekans. Let's see if we can find anything else in the water. Not even a nibble. Of course not. Uh, you wonder. It'd be a wonder if we could surf across that water. Oh, what did we find? What did we find? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Another barboach. Of course it is. Barboach has a really high chance of uh, being found in uh, with the good rod, at least. So we don't have the super rod yet. The super rod will let us find uh, Carvanas and let us have a better chance at uh, finding Gyarados. But there is a tiny, tiny chance, I think. It might be, it might actually be in Diamond and Pearl, now that I think about it. But there is a tiny, tiny chance that we're able to find Gyarados. I hope, I hope I'm wrong. And maybe we'll find a Magic Arp or something. We haven't found one of those yet. I don't, I don't think I own a Magic Arp yet. I think that'd be actually kind of funny if we found one in here. Let's move over to this spot then. That spot doesn't want to give us any more fishies. And... A nibble. Yeah! Yeah! I got, I got a fish Pokemon right there! Let's get him. Magic Arp? Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Getting a Magic Arp. He's actually at a pretty decent level for being Magic Arp. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so if we ever wanted a Gyarados, we'd barely have to do any work. Did a Magic Arb just pop out of the Pokeball? He's watching carefully. No, I will make it. This this is my duty right now to catch perhaps the worst Pokemon of all time. Yeah, yeah, we got him. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not actually sure how many Pokemon we've we've caught. Uh. <laughs> I'm honestly a little unsure. I'm sorry, this might be a longer episode than normal. Um, but no, let's maybe get... Let's maybe try and find one more thing, just to be on the safe side. Um, god dang, this freaking... No, I don't want to head that way! I mashed too quickly! I mashed just way too quick. Uh, oh, another whooper. Oh, I wish it was like Tangela or something. This is actually a nice place to find Psyduck in, uh... Come on! Ah! It's a nice place to find Psyduck in uh, Diamond and Pearl. And Tangela, alright. Okay, Tangela! I need to catch you, and you're gonna run away, aren't you? So, mud in your face! That's what's gonna happen. 
Yeah, he's angry now. He's watching carefully. Come on, Tangela. I want to catch you. And then we can retire the safari game. I just want... I know I've made this way more complicated now, but I just want... What? I used mud and everything! You suck, Tangela. You suck. Come on, I just want something. Give me Yanma, maybe. I already have a million whoopers! This may do as well. It seems as though we've come in contact with a Quagsire. Let's hope for some reason that this catches. Come on, Quagsire! Nothing! I think the game hates me! Cool, maybe this is it. It took us to uh, took me to Area 5. Uh, I might actually do luck out here and try and catch this Skaroopy. Come on, Skaroopy. Be my saving grace. I just want to make sure that I've got five different kinds and why can't- why doesn't anybody like me? Ah! Hmm. Maybe this Yanma will work. I do love Yanmas and I'm almost out of Safari Balls, so let's hope something comes out of this now. Come on, Yanma. Come on, Yanma. Come on, Yanma. No! Oh, everybody hates me. Everybody hates me! Why do they gotta tease me like that? Come on, Yanma, please! 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 Yes! 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 Yanma! Yes! Finally, it worked! Ah! Thank you, Yanma! No! Yes! It worked. Now I'm just gonna find one more Pokemon. I could retire, but I want to make sure. And I just since I have one more, let's catch one more freaking Whooper because I want to, and let's do it. I'm out of Safari Balls. Can't really do anything anyway, even if this Whooper doesn't catch. But yay! I caught Yanma and another freaking Whooper. <laughs> My box is loaded with a bunch of Whooper friends for our current Whooper friend to go hang out. But there we go. Wow. This episode was really all about you, wasn't it, Gordon Blatt? You know what? It was. Ding dong, you've run out of Safari Balls, your Safari game is over. Ah, what a satisfying end. Yes, we did it. So how many Pokemon did you catch in the Safari game? At least five? Yup, you did all that, and they were different. Isn't that something? Well, here you are, then. The Poketch app matchup checker! Yes, we did it. All for the Poketch app. Matchup checker app shows the affinity of Pokemon to each other. Pretty, pretty cool. Very self-explanatory. But anyway, guys, that's all for the Great Marsh, I think. Next time, I think we're going to be heading to the Gym of Pastoria. That was, that was pretty fun and very triumphant with that Yanma. Praise Yanma, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!